people, the weekly update. For there was a girl in for this week, December 7th, 2023. You may be wondering, hey, aren't you like two days late uploading this right now? Well, you know, kind of, but truth be told, there's no update this week. For some reason. She said she cared about me. I mean, really, because mainly the new big update that's coming out is probably going to come out on Monday, this upcoming Monday. Possibly. Hopefully. We'll see. On last week's Newswire, double rewards through December 11th. And I didn't think much of it at the time, but obviously December 11th is a Monday and not a Thursday. That would lead me to believe that this upcoming Monday, the 11th, might in fact be when the new DLC drops. Maybe not. I could be wrong. Maybe there's some like two or three day update period in between. I don't know. And if I didn't mention it enough last week, definitely log on at some point between now and December 11th to get this Galaxy livery for free, people. This is one of the best liveries you can have for the Avenger. It makes it look so goddamn good, especially with some chameleon on the bottom. Highly, highly recommend it. This is one of the best login bonuses this game has ever had. And any glitch to get this livery in the past has been incredibly complicated and fucking hard to pull off. So... It would definitely be good to just have this permanently unlocked on your profile and log in at some point. This All you have to do is log on, all right? You don't even have to play anything. Just sign on at some point. Walk around. Change your outfit up or something just to make sure that the Galaxy livery saves, but it should be fine. I mean, if you have not yet seen it, folks, the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer already has 128 million goddamn views in, like, seven days. It's ridiculous. And it's, it's so goddamn awesome. <laughs> So obviously that's awesome. And then you've got this right here. This came out like a week ago. I probably should have talked about this sooner. This Newswire update right here talks about the newest GTA Online update with a familiar face. You might think that's Michael. No, it's fucking not Michael. It's my main man, Yusuf Amir from GTA 4. Let's go. Welcome to the party. Things went a bit crazy and... Uh... I somehow lost my pads. I mean, look, apparently it's a new illicit salvage yard business with vehicle robberies, drift, et cetera, et cetera. 25th anniversary in-game apparel, much more to celebrate. The addition of animals to the world is a very, very nice touch. And I, I feel like practice for GTA 6, frankly. I mean, this looks very much like some kind of thing Michael would be involved in. But no, 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 fuck off. Well, this remains to be seen how profitable and fun this business actually is. But frankly, the Acid Lab did not pay that much. And if this has a similar payout, I don't see people doing too much with it. But, you know, it's better than no business. It's just better than a couple of missions. Ooh, look at the dogs in the background. Nice. Him and his cousin Jamal. You know, sure. I mean, again, high-stake robberies, more random stuff is cool. But I think we all wanted a new heist. And if they don't deliver a goddamn new heist, I think we're all going to collectively shit a brick. And then you've got the addition of drift races. So, you know, I mean, that's that's not terrible. That's that's definitely a fun new addition. That will probably be underappreciated, frankly, but it's good. It's a good one. Better than not being added. And then like all of the past updates, additional features and improvements. Let's see. Wildlife we talked about. Always awesome. Fuck you in the mouth. GTA Plus members get an exclusive 100 vehicle garage. Fuck you. Whatever. What? Fine. Uh, and then organize and manage vehicle collections from interaction. Money. Sure. I mean, that does sound nice. We'll see. I'm sure there's all types of other stuff going on, too. But again, this is only for next-gen systems. On all systems, however, new interaction menu, increased car meet reputation, new specific... What the fuck? Allowing drivers... Oh, nice. Now you can buy other people's copies of cars on old systems. Shout out to everyone who's ever wanted that. That's a very nice feature on new systems. Custom description tags. Yeah, whatever. And then a small birthday gift. That's hilarious. That's really funny. In addition to the new vehicle robberies, new vehicles, and a new racing series, there's even more coming to GTA Online this holiday season. Expect snow, obviously. There will be new music, new holiday modes, additional experience improvements, updates to creator, other festive surprises, and much more. Stay tuned to official Rockstar Game channels for details. You may notice no mention of a heist. Look, man, I may, I may make a video titled How Rockstar Gaslighted All of Us, because frankly, dude, I swear to God, three years ago in the in their more to come section or whatever like this at the end of their last newswire when their last heist came out they're like our next heist is going to be only for next gen systems 
And I swear to God they said that somewhere in some newswire, but lo and behold, I can't find it. And I'm pretty sure they went back and deleted it. But, dude, I swear. I swear. I'm not making this up, all right? At one point in the past, Rockstar was like, we're going to make a new heist. We're going to make one last. We're going to make another one. And it's going to be for next-gen systems only. And then they kind of just haven't spoken about it. And now it's been three years since Kyle came out. And I was convinced it was going to come out this December. But maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Can you imagine, though, it melt everyone's faces off with, like, a trailer, like, about a new heist that's also coming with this update? And it's, like, a six cinematic trailer that's 60 seconds long? People would collectively lose their shit and play the fuck out of this game for the next six months. Easy. But they might not have the resources. They might have poured all their resources into making GTA 6 look awesome. Which it does. Jesus Christ. <laughs> And there you go, people. That's the weekly update and news on the upcoming GTA Online DLC. And sorry for being a bit late, but hey, better late than never. Appreciate you watching. I have plenty of other stuff in the works. People, do all the stuff that a YouTube guy might ask you to do. Uh, I really appreciate it. You know, liking, subscribing, ringing the bell. More importantly, one last thing, the Xbox Series S slash $350 Christmas giveaway. People! If you don't know about the Christmas giveaway for 2023 on Flip's channel, you're fucking up big time. All you have to do is A, be subscribed to the YouTube channel. B, leave a comment on this video or any video, really. It actually, you don't even have to leave a comment, but I would like it if you did. Saying, I want, I want money me. Money me now. Give me money. Money me. Money now. Yes, I am not messing with you people. Shout out to the legend M6 himself. On December 25th, one lucky viewer slash participant of the channel is going to wake up to a brand new Xbox Series S or $350 US paypal right into their goddamn account. All right, man. Yeah, yeah. let's have a good Christmas. It's a Christmas miracle. What about me? Oh, you go fuck yourself and your fat fucking ass. Well, it's a Christmas giveaway. Regardless, don't you want, don't you want free stuff? Who doesn't like free stuff? Seriously. And I'd really appreciate it. If you could spread this around to all the goddamn people you know, because coming up on um, 50,000 subscribers on the channel, and once we hit that, guess what? There'll probably be another giveaway of a similar amount, probably another console, maybe even an Xbox Series X or a PS5 or $500 on PayPal. Who knows? We'll see, people. Two giveaways coming up. Really appreciate all you watching. Again, I'll catch you on the next one. Bam! Oh, no, no. Okay. Oh, I saw why, right? <laughs> <laughs>